Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial. In this video, I will guide you on how to set up and use your project with SiteShaker. As an example, let's make an audit for Wikipedia. We all use this resource, so let's check what's up with their SEO. Here we go. The very first section we can see while checking the website with SiteShaker is Site Audit Summary. It shows you the summary of results we've got after SiteShaker checked the technical SEO of the whole website. With help of this, we can fix the issues the website has and improve its SEO to reach more traffic. What we've got here? The website score is 78 of 100. That's not bad. On the right, we can see the amount of crawled pages for the analysis. When you use SiteShaker for the first time on your free trial, the default number is up to 500 pages. You can update this number in the setting of your project. As you may notice, Wikipedia has much more than 500 URLs. Thus, the analysis we can see for this website is only partial, however, it still gives us a nice understanding about the issues it has. Ok, here we can see one site-level issue in regards to sitemap. This issue is website-wide, thus is located in the site-level issues section. All the other site-level checks were passed though, which is nice. Among page-level issues we can see 3 critical issues and 924 warnings, that's pretty a lot. Now let's check what pages have the listed issues. As an example, we can check title duplicates. By clicking on this, we'll be forwarded to the issues section. This is the place where you can see the particular URLs which contain some problems needed to be corrected. Here, for example, there are two pages where we have detected title duplicate issues. On the right, there is a sidebar when we can sort the pages with different issues. In case you need an assistance on fixing some particular issue, you may refer to our How to Fix guide on the top of the page. There, you will see the instructions on fixing it and often the detailed video guide. Also, almost on every issue there is a button on the right that allows you to see where the problem is located on the page or the website. In this case, it's a button See Duplicates. By clicking on it, you will see the list of all URLs with the same title. Let's for instance check the issue with 4x6 client errors. There is one page and the button C referring pages. By clicking, you will see all the pages with a link to this broken URL. Among the checks you can see in the sidebar, there are categories like for example all pages. After the click, we can see the list of all pages with issues they have. Next to each of them, there is a button view page audit. Let's hit this button for the major one, about page. Page audit is an additional detailed analysis for the particular page, but not site-wide. It will help you to check a specific page in a more detailed way. For example, it will check the structure of the content, pictures, links, and Google Page Speed Insights. Here we can see three critical issues. The title is too short and there is no description on the page. We can check its structure and the content of the meta tags h1 to h6 along with the keyword's density. This will help you to find out what keywords the particular page is optimized to. Also, there is an issue with missing open graph tag, few pictures without alt attributes and some other issues. The Google page speed is nice though. All in all, there are some issues on the website, but not too many. Actually, this is what we could expect from Wikipedia. For your website, I highly recommend you to fix all the critical issues and warnings from Site Audit and check your major pages with Page Audit. It will provide you with a more detailed and structured analysis of the particular page so you know what should be fixed. If your website is bigger than 500 URLs, just go to the settings of your project and raise limit. Also, in the settings you can turn on the additional checks for JavaScript, CSS and images. Now, it's time for us to move to another site checker's features, but first, let's go to the list of the projects. To do this, you should hit the logo button on the top of the page. The list of all projects is a homepage on site checker. Here you can see the list of all the active projects you have, your use limits by each of the project and the quick statistics. Here I can add a new project and remove the existing ones. Also, here you can see the stats for your project importing from the other site checker tools like site monitoring and rank tracker. We will definitely discuss them in the next part of the video. That was it for today. It was Simon from SiteChecker.pro. In case you still have any other questions, feel free to reach out at support at SiteChecker.pro. See you in the next video.